Let's start off with VA claims for hypertension. Basically, hypertension is high blood pressure. You either have it or you don't, or you're probably going to get it. It's very common among veterans. I have it. Actually, you probably have it. So hypertension means high blood pressure. You have two numbers that are being measured. The top number is systolic pressure, and then the bottom number is diastolic pressure. And these are tied into your ratings. In order to win a VA claim for hypertension, you're gonna need a current diagnosis in a medical record. So if that's your service treatment records, if you're doing a direct service connection claim, that works. We're talking about secondaries, so it either needs to be in your VA medical records or you got diagnosed by a private doctor. Need the diagnosis? You need the nexus. You need a link between your current diagnosis of hypertension and whatever you're trying to connect it to on a secondary basis. And then you need current symptoms, recurrent symptoms that are bothering you right now. The higher the symptoms, the higher the rating. Here's how the VA rates hypertension. They're always going to use your diastolic pressure, but in the higher ratings, the 40 and the 60%, they're gonna drop the systolic pressures. A 10% VA rating for hypertension is if your diastolic pressure is 100 to 109, or your systolic pressure is 160 to 199. 20% rating for hypertension. If your diastolic pressure is 110 to 119, or your systolic pressure is 200 or higher. A 40% VA disability rating for hypertension is if your diastolic pressure is 120 to 129. They dropped the systolic on this part. A 60% VA rating for hypertension is warranted if your diastolic pressure measures 130 or higher. Hypertension secondary to sleep apnea. This is a popular claim. So, I'm going to link to this BVA decision. I encourage you to look at these because if you're trying to file hypertension secondary to sleep apnea, it would be good to see how other veterans successfully argued and unsuccessfully argued their claims. It's all on uh, bva.va.gov. So I'll put a link in the description. And basically the uh, facts of the case here is there's two different uh, doctor opinions. The CNP examiner, who does not represent you, the duty to assist doesn't exist, it's a joke. The CNP examiner represents the VA, your doctor that you hire, he represents you. So basically the CNP examiner said no, and the uh, private doctor said yes, veteran won. This is called equipose, and tie goes to the runner, but it has to be a tie. You need to appeal your VA claim, check out Hill and Potten at hillandpotten.com, see if they could help you out. Also, if you're at Camp Lejeune between 53 and 87, you may be eligible for additional benefits. Links for both of those are in the description. Don't forget to sign up for my boot camp. You're going to need medical evidence to win your VA claim. If you're missing a diagnosis, severity of your symptoms, or a nexus, and your doctor won't do it for you, send an email to Second Strata and see if they can help you with your missing medical evidence.